Hi, this is Kathy Quinn with Floriani. Floriani is a division of R&K Distributing, and I want to welcome you to this week's Project of the Week. Now, I don't know if you know, but I am so excited because we just released, on the 12th of September, a new update. And I don't know if you're aware, but I want to just point out a couple of little things to you. I'm here at my starting screen, and I'm going to go into myfloriani.club. The reason I'm going in here is because if you will notice on this front page, of course we're telling you that we're going to be at festival and we are going to have a brand new decorative quilter too, so you're going to have lots of good times in my decorative quilter too. Now realize, when you see the word new, it means it's updated, it's great. If you already own my decorative quilter, do you get that update free? Of course. So, but we have released, we've done a whole lot with My Decorative Quilter, and you're going to be so excited about it, and we're going to release that at festival. However, we just released new features and benefits in our new Floriati Total Control U. You can click on that, it'll take you to a page, and you can start looking through and seeing what's there, what we've done, so you can always go through that. But where I want you to go is I want you to go to My Floriani Club Weekly. Now you'll notice in the club, it gives you just a little short lesson of one of the features we've changed, we've updated. You've also got my last week's video. You had Marty's blog. If you're in the club, your front page is Marty's blog. And she just happens to be teaching you how to tile a towel using embossing. And I happen to do an embossing lesson without one of us talking to the other. So there you go. So it must be the time to do a lot of tiling and embossing on towels with the holidays coming. But now it's telling you right here that get the load down yourself on the new update. Click here and it's going to take you and tell you about our new uh, features and enhancements. And also you can watch videos. I'm going to go ahead and you know do a lesson. But you can look at the lessons because DJ does wonderful lessons for you whenever that happens. And then you can also go ahead and download the latest version. So you can't beat this. This is awesome. And you can print your PDF pages as well. So let's go ahead and go into here because I want to show you so far what my very favorite feature is in this. And I can tell you this, I mean I am so excited. And there's Marty's, Marty's blog. I lost her blog. When I first came in, her blog was there. But I want to show you what I have been having a ball with. One of the biggest questions I've always had at events is, I bought some fonts from XYZ Company. Can I import them into my, can I put them in my Floriani fonts folder? Well, the answer has always been no. I don't care whose software you own, that has always been the answer. I'm so sorry, but fonts are different. They're created different. They're not a design format. So since we've gotten that so often, we've been working on a secret. So now, yes, you can import those fonts into our keyboard lettering, and you can use it just like any of the fonts in the Floriani folder. However, there's a couple of little things. Number one, it must be a font that you have purchased in a machine format, such as PES, um, VIP, JEF, any of your machine formats. If you have um, purchased it in a format that goes with another program, um, the one that comes to mind right now to me is Monogram Wizard, where you can buy the program and you can keep adding fonts. Well, the fonts you purchase from them are in a working format, so they cannot be imported into Floriani software. But if you bought a set of design fonts from XYZ and they're in the PEZ or VIP or any of the formats, then you can import them into our software. How cool is this? Now, I went out the other night when I realized what I could do. It was I worked on this till 2 o'clock in the morning, and I was at Meisner's in Sacramento teaching. What an amazing event, hands-on event we had. They were wonderful. The students were fantastic. I just had a ball. And I got home last night, and I am still just, woohoo excited from everything that went on at Meisner's and I, me playing with this new font importer. This so far is my favorite new tool. Now I haven't played with all of them, but I have played with this one.
So what I'm going to do is you will notice up here we've got our text icon, our monogram icon, and now we have a brand new one. It's a T with the magic wand on it because it's magic. We're going to left mouse click and like magic this comes up. Now the first thing you must do, if this does not work I can already tell you what you did wrong. Let me bring up, oh I didn't mean to do this. Don't you love it when I do these things? Well, we are going to, what you need to do is you must have a new font. Now what it's done is it's opened up my quilting software right in front of my eyes. Let's close this down. There we go. Okay, now we're good. I think we're good. Let's close down my total quilter down here. I was trying to open uh, the little drawing tool I have so that we can, uh, let's try that again, see if I can do it better this time. Well, we're not going to. Right here, there is a tab that says New Font. If you do not name the font, when you go to import it, it'll say nothing selected. And you'll think, well, yeah, I selected those letters. What it is is you did not name that alphabet. You must give it a name. So I'm going to say new font, and I'm going to name this Kathy's Wiggles. Because I bought a font called Wiggles, and there I bought them in the DST format. And I'm going to say OK. Now, of course, that is a machine embroidery format. Now it gives you a place to, for author. Now, what I would suggest is you put in here where you bought it, because you might love this font. And remember, they had a couple of other cute ones. You'll never find them again. So just put where you bought it. I don't remember. It was 2 o'clock in the morning. So I'm just going to put me as the author. You don't have to have an author. Now that I have that, I'm going to go to my capital A. And I'm going to come all the way down, holding my shift key, and I'm going to select the Z. So I've got all the capitals. So I'm going to tell this, will you map those, will you create those letters into a font that will work in my library? So I'm going to go to A to Z. It's going to tell me that M will be set as our reference letter. We want that because M is like square. So it's using it as a reference for the size and everything. So go with the M. Uh, DJ knew what he was doing when he said to use certain things, so I always trust DJ on that. Now notice what happened. Look, it just created them and it put them all in here. How cool is this? Now I'm going to come down and I'm going to select my A and I'm going to go all the way down to my Z. And I'm going to put in my small letters, my lowercase. Now sometimes you can do that all at once with this A, A to Z, Z, but I found that not every one of them will work that way. They'll put them in, it, it doesn't always uh, pick it up as well. So I did my capitals, I did my lowercase. Now I'm going to come on down. Now it even has places, if, if the alphabet you purchased has special characters, you can import them as well. This one does not have special characters, so I'm going to go to the 0 to 9. I'm going to hold down my shift key, and I'm going to say put the numbers in. So it's going to set those numbers into these numbered slots right here. So there they are. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down and we have our other characters here. Now you can also drag and drop. So let me say I take this dollar symbol. I may drag it here. Uh, there's my number symbol. I may drag it there. So I can drag my equal symbol. Is there a place for that? There is. I just have to scroll down. But you get the idea. We can come in here and we can drag in all of our special characters that need to be put into our map as well. So you can drag one at a time. You can put lots of stuff in all at once. But you get the idea. Now that I've got this in here, and I'm going to go ahead and stop here because that's plenty of you. You've got the idea. Once that's there, I'm going to come down and save it. Now if you've decided you don't want it or you did something wrong or you want to you put something in the wrong place, just go ahead and close and it won't save anything. I can save, now notice I can edit fonts. I could come up if I realize something was wonky. I put the you know, dollar symbol in the and symbol and I realized it when I typed it in for a design. I could come back in here and edit this font. But I basically want to save this font and I, I'm going to convert it to outlines and save it. So now I have a saved font.
I'm going to go back to edit fonts here. And I could say I want to edit Kathy's Wiggles, just so you can see. Or I could come in here and I could remove a font if I wanted to remove a font. So you get the idea we could come back in and edit or play. So let's close this down. Now let me go to my keyboard lettering. That's what they call it. Now there the A is stuck to my cursor. Let me left mouse click on screen to bring up my lettering. And I don't know why it's telling me I've created segments. Oh, it's just a font I have picked, that's why. I'm going to come down to Wiggles, or Kathy's Wiggles. We put Kathy's Wiggles in here. So let's go to Kathy's Wiggles right there. Now I can type in, um, I love this feature. Now it's, I'm going to make it, eh, 7 8 is fine, 7, 0.78 inches. I'm going to say apply. And I'm going to fit it to screen. How cool is this? But now this is what's so cool. Because this is now a font. So now what can I do? Anything I could do to my stuff before. It lets me make this font smile. It would let me make this font bigger, smaller. Anything I could do before, now I can do with the font I have imported. How easy and how fun is this? I hope you love this new feature because I am crazy over it. I look forward to seeing you again next week. You have a wonderful, wonderful week. See you again.